Why is Star Wars Rebels being cancelled so early in the game by Disney? With its incoming fourth season leading into the War of Lothal, the stakes are at their highest for the heroes of Star Wars Rebels. Ezra rocks between the light and dark sides of the Force as Sabine helps rein in a new era for the Mandalorians. Hera Syndulla has an entire fleet of fighters under her command, and cowboy Jedi Kanan Jarrus has begun understanding the Force in ways he could not have in his wilder, younger years. And sure well, stop crowding. I don't think Chopper's quite done yet either. But with all of this in mind, Disney and Lucasfilm are officially putting the brakes on Rebels at the end of season four. Our adventure with the crew of the Ghost is drawing to an end. But why? With a cast like the one on Rebels, stories don't just finish unless the worst possible thing happens. So today we're going to dive right into the end of the show and what Lucasfilm might have up its sleeve for the future with its imminent cancellation. There's something new coming at Lucasfilm Animation. Our first big hint is one that's been festering for a while. Just before the beginning of Season 3, news broke that Dave Filoni would no longer serve as the supervising director and executive producer of Rebels, and that he was possibly stepping into a larger position to creatively oversee the development of future animated shows. Plural. See where I'm going with this? Filoni is already working on an animated project to possibly fill the Rebels time slot, and Star Wars animation has been built out with new projects like Forces of Destiny and the Freemaker Adventures. While nothing's listed on Filoni's IMDb yet, the very possibility is that he's already grilling away at another series or some other creative project within the Star Wars universe. One thing is for sure, from the Clone Wars until now, Star Wars animation has taken on a new form outside of on-screen special effects. Rebels isn't exactly lacking in the ratings department, it has multiple milestones over its lifespan, and has proven itself to be worthy of wide-ranging audience beyond the 6 to 11 boys age group that dominates most of the Disney XD programming, says a 31 year old Australian. About that live action show, huh? While a new live action show might not hinder any other department like animation, it certainly would be one heck of a large scale project. George Lucas' original plan for a high stakes live action series starring Saul Guerrero didn't quite pan out, but now might be the time for several other stories to make their way to the small screen. It's hard to really wrap one's head around everything that might go into a Star Wars live action series, but you can bet that key players from Rebels will be on board if it happens. Aside from the involvement of the story group, Dave Filoni has had a hand in storyboards, character and set design throughout the recent saga, from cartoons to the saga films themselves, and it's likely that he, along with a few other familiar names, would work on this hypothetical live action series. The demands that come with staging an ongoing television series at the standards of a Star Wars film are pretty high, so there may be a lot of focus getting put onto this hypothetical project. If it's happening, it will likely do nothing to replace the Rebels time slot because it's not likely to be a live action Star Wars television show that would be nearly as kid friendly. Still, that would be a huge reason to take more and more of a hands off on Rebels and put them into a next big Star Wars small screen project. The story of the Ghost Crew has a beginning, middle, and of course an end. One of the most repeated quotes in Mark Hamill's docket is this one. But I thought, you know, well, even if they do another trilogy, it'll be about another generation. It won't. And I had a beginning, a middle, and then my story was finished. What he's basically saying here is that while he is still part of the Skywalker story in Star Wars, the new trilogy is about Rey, Finn, and Poe, and their friends. And honestly, it's that simple when you think about Rebels. Yes, Ezra and Sabine have their own hero's journey arcs to tackle, and any of our heroes could continue on after the Battle of Lothal, but Rebels was a story of the Ghost crew as a unit. The theme of found family is ever-present in several sci-fi narratives, and the crew has developed because of the things they've learned from each other. 
While we could follow Hera as she climbs the ranks within the Rebellion, this isn't the show or story where that's going to happen. Star Wars Rebels began on Lothal, and it looks like it's going to end there too. But that's only the end of the Ghost Crew's primary mission on Lothal. Old enemies have become trusted allies, legends have risen and fallen again, and one of the most notorious villains in all of Star Wars history is at the forefront of our hero's impending battle. It's a little nerve-wracking, of course. The fates of our heroes are far beyond our current knowledge, and that might have plenty of fans on edge to see whether or not their favorite survived the battle. But as we go into Season 4, it's good to reflect on where this crew came from and what it and the Rebellion was built on. Hope. Hera, Chopper, Kanan, Sabine, Zeb, and Ezra all believe in the greater good, the possibility that the galaxy might one day become a place where they can live peacefully and others would not have to experience the loss and hardship that each member has in their own way. Not everyone joined to be a hero, honestly, outside of Hera. <laughs> Nobody did, but they're heading the Rebellion's efforts on Lothal now, and they've been through so much together, so when we kick off the season finale, think of it as less of a goodbye and more of a milestone. No matter what happens during the Battle of Lothal, the crew of the Ghost have seen this through from the beginning, and they've done it together. Look, there's no better team that I know of in the Rebellion during their era, and I'm sure that's what we're going to see in the finale. Hope and them acting as a unit. Now, is that emotional enough for you? I'll be sad to see the Rebels go. We don't know exactly who will survive and who might not, or if they all do or don't. But it provided us with so much context and really humanized the Rebellion as something beyond the brainchild of Padme Amidala, Mon Mothma and Bail Organa. Rebels, much like Rogue One, opened up Star Wars fans to the lives of people who only want to use their abilities for good. It provided some great context for the inner workings of the Rebellion and even continued the story of Ahsoka Tano, whose fate we'll all see play out in Season 4. At least I think so. Well, that wraps it up for me. Do you have any deeper reasons for Star Wars Rebels being cancelled? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, not the Rebels going, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out because if you love Star Wars, I want to talk to you about it. It's as simple as that, my friends. If you want to stay up to date with the latest Star Wars videos on origins, games, and theories, don't forget to use those force powers of yours and hit subscribe. And hey, leave a comment below about what you want to see in future videos. It may just get covered. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you. Always.